We are going to do med surge now. All right. DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis, signs and symptoms, go. Fruity breath, rapid weak pulse, extreme thirst, urinary frequency, sunken eyeballs. How do we know it's there? How do we diagnose it? Urine sample ketones in the urine. Low potassium will give you peak T wigs, muscle cramps, abnormal heart rhythms. High potassium, <clears throat> diarrhea. Okay, decrease our cancer risks. What is our diet going to look like? Just healthy. Decrease fats, increase fruits, increase vegetables, increase fiber. Peritonitis. How do we know if someone has peritonitis? Hard, rigid abdomen, increase in WBCs, increase in temperature. You could get peritonitis from or related to diverticulosis, small bowel obstruction. Increased ICP. You're thinking it right now because every fucking time increased ICP is... Look for confusion. Confusion first. ICP confusion. Uh, later on, it's the abnormal posturing. Okay. Digoxin toxicity. So those cardiac glycosides. Digoxin. Digitalis. Linoxin. So the toxicity. What will we see? Especially in older people. Confusion. Anorexia. Nausea. Vomiting. Decreased pulse, halos, AV dissociation. Meter dose inhaler. This one was stupid. Sit or stand. Shake the inhaler. Attach the canister to the mouthpiece. The spacer goes in the mouth. Close the lips around the mouthpiece. Hold 10 seconds after inhalation. And then they were like, breathe out empty lungs. Well, fuck, you breathe in when you're taking it. I hate this test. Okay, burns. Okay, someone who's got a serious burn, what is your primary concern? I went straight to stop any additional burning, but the answer was um, administer the tetanus toxicoid intermuscularly. Um, and then obviously secondary, we want to increase protein, uh, do ROM, and a rolled towel under the neck. All right, neurological compromise. Number one, sign and symptom. Neurological, ICP, neurological, confusion, go confusion, or changes in LOC. HSV2, that sucks, you got herpes. A pap smear can't tell, there's no cure. Penicillin can't help you now, don't have unprotected sex. Okay. All right, we're talking about secondary prevention. There's cat, what is it? early diagnosis to prevent or treat the disease process. So primary, we're educating so we don't get it. Secondary, we, we've got it, but we want to catch it early. So examples of this are self-breast exam, testicular self-exam, pap smears, and mammograms. What is a sign and a symptom of diabetic neuropathy in regards to labs? Microalbuminemia. Okay, you don't want to get osteoporosis? <clears throat> What's a good thing you should stop doing? Smoking, yeah. You also want to obviously increase your calcium intake and this thing called aldronate Fosamax. Okay, CPR, where do you do it? Just above the xiphoid process in the lower third of the sternum. What lung sound will have a long duration, discontinuous, and low pitched? Coarse crackles. Okay, how did you get throat cancer? Give me three things. You drank, you smoked, and you had vocal abuse. 
okay, clear to cloudy. How do you do it? Go. Wash your hands. Check the bottle. Air in the cloudy, NPH. Air in the regular, clear. Suck up the clear. Suck up the cloudy. Boom, give your shot. Okay, a stoma, will it swell postoperatively? Mm -hmm. It'll go down in a few days. Okay, if you want to avoid hypocalcemia, what would you do? Move around, walk, and then increase your fluid intake. Okay, you got a full thickness burn? Are you ever going to grow that skin back? No, it's a fucking goner. Your whole dermal layer is screwed. You're going to need a skin graft. All right, so you flash your light in an older person's eye and your pupils are slow to constrict and then slow to dilate when you remove it. What's going on? It's normal. Accommodation slows down along with everything else. Okay, potassium-rich foods. Green beans, milk, flounder. Potatoes, cantaloupe, avocado, banana, carrots, fish, mushrooms, oranges, potatoes, pork, beef, veal, raisins, spinach, strawberries, tomatoes. Do you have all that memorized? No, are you getting a question wrong? Probably. All right, diabetes 2, risks. You're fat. You're obese. Your BMI is over 30. Hispanic, African American, and over 40 years of age. Okay, hypovolemia. Give me some signs and symptoms of a low fluid. Tachycardia, decreased urine output, increased thirst, and they said cool skin. Okay, COPD, positioning, have them sit down. They can put their forearms on a pillow, purse lip breathing, and use diaphragmatic breathing. <laughs> All right, someone has appendicitis. Where is the pain going to be? Lower right quadrant. And are we going to put heat on it? No. Okay, you have lymphoblastic leukemia. What are you expecting? Bone pain and pallor. Wilms tumor. What's the important thing about this guy? Don't palpate Wilms because you might risk rupture or further metastasis. Is a two-year-old going to share their toys? No, they're egocentric little bitches. All right. Um, someone is on minocycline, so they're on a tetracycline for acne. What are the side effects of tetracyclines? Super infection, photosensitivity, and decreased efficiency of oral contraceptives. All of those things suck for a teenager because they have acne and they want to have sex. Um, they don't want to be infected and they want to be out in the sun. All right, so if we're taking this minocycline, this tetracycline, we want to report vaginal itching because that's super infection. We want to protect the skin from UV light because we're photosensitive. Um, avoid driving until you know the response because uh, tetracyclines tend to make you dizzy, or the minocycline does. And uh, use some non-hormonal contraception. Hook yourself up with a condom. Atropine. It's an anticholergenic. It's going to decrease your oral secretions. Rubiola. Hola! Hola, chica! What are you expecting with rubiola? What are those spots? Hola! In my hola! What are you going to see? Coplix spots. Elevated white spots on the oral mucosa. Red blotchy skin on face. Neck spreads to the rest of the body. Okay, a toddler. Uh, just has some sort of facial surgery. What kind of restraints are you going to place on them? You can't tie me down. A elbow, then they can't reach their face. Okay, nephrotic syndrome. What kind of diet do we have? 
low sodium, low fat, low sugar. When do we give MMR? 12 to 15 months, good luck remembering that. MMR, 12 to 15 months. Okay, so you have a child who, say they're seven years old, and there's reports of them daydreaming, they're staring into space, and maybe they're abrupt interruptions in conversation. What do you think? Investigate for petite mal seizures. Okay, DKA, what are some signs? Abdominal pain, increased thirst. Uh, what are we going to do to test for it? Urine, testing for sugar and ketones.